Joe presents Boys Don't Cry with me, Russell Kane, together with ASOS. Welcome to Boys Don't Cry with me, Russell Kane. This is the show where I invite two male guests on and get them to talk about awkward things, deep things. Sometimes it's funny, sometimes it's upsetting. Um, we go into places we wouldn't normally go to and they are forced to discuss these things. It's been a surprise hit with women, turns out that girls are nosy bastards that like <laughs> to look inside men's heads. Most of the things you can get online is like, let's have men talk about issues. Is your jumper woolier than mine? Let's hug it out while we talk about it. That's fine if you're an emotionally literate man. And guys, we need, we do need those things. But for the rest of the 90% of us who just cringe and go, oh, don't touch me, I'd, I'd rather be depressed in private than have a <laughs> fluffy jumper moment, we need something a bit different, something a bit yeah. spiky, something a bit edgy, something where there's laughs where there shouldn't be, and that was a thought for Boys Don't Cry. But I couldn't do it without a female guest. The female guest is there, as I call her the lady auditor, purely so we can, if we drift into, well, you know what girls are like, they'll be like, eh, the bullshit button will be hit, and in they jump. Bullshit. So who are my guests today. We've got television presenter and Invictus Games gold medalist, JJ Chalmers, stand-up Ishan Akbar, and television presenter, Olivia Wayne. I Hello. should also explain Hello. that uh, why we're doing this today, we are live on Instagram, on just on my feed. The reason being, after we've talked about a couple of the awkward subjects I brought with me, I'm going to be going to Instagram, to, this is, and this is very high risk, to throw <laughs> random topics that Ishan, Ishan, Ishan. Ishan yes. and uh, JJ will be forced to discuss. Great, great. Um, but for now, <laughs> first of all, how are you doing? Everyone good? Coping? I'm actually really tired and croaky, but good. It was good. Yeah. Forward to, I over-prepared for the weather today, though. I had, like, a scarf and a jumper and gloves, and then I was boiling on the tube. Yeah, it's not so bad, yeah. today. No, but it's fine today. Yeah. Right, on with <laughs> the first subject. The first subject I want Ishan and JJ to talk about, singledom. Singledom. Men being single versus women being single. Is there a gender difference or is there just a difference in the bravado? Is there just a difference in how women describe their experience of being single? Because, or for example, I, 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 I saw a really funny thing yesterday which, which was like, girls who are still single, don't panic. Um, um, Madonna's boyfriend's 24, Tina Turner's boyfriend's 48. Chill out, girls, your boyfriend's not even been born yet. <laughs> I, I, couldn't Im I couldn't imagine giving that advice to men. You don't say to men, very rarely, you say, don't worry about being single. As soon as a man is single, he's like, hey, I'm single. Pelvis can go like a sewing machine in a power surge. I'm going to be entering more things than my mum enters competitions in Take a Break magazine. <laughs> It's it's treated like oh. it's treated like an opportunity to play the field. I'm gonna be yeah. shagging everything that moves. But also, um, you, and can't, then you, can't, you can't actually say to a bloke, by the way, don't worry, your your girlfriend hasn't been born yet. That's super creepy. Well, it's creepy yeah. anyway, isn't it? Like waiting for it's creepy for, to be wait for your future partner to be born. Yeah, but like outside <laughs> so the maternity oh, ward, just 18 <laughs> years, years. <laughs> can't wait. Do, do all men view singledom as well, hey? They should talk about it as right. well, hey. But is that bravado for sure? Well, Surely not all men. Let's let's, let's go. Let's let's force I, JJ and Sean yeah, into well, their first I awkward mean, chat of the I've day. Been, I've, I haven't been single for JJ seven or eight years. Or something oh, I like shut that. off. I know. Yeah, I know. I get it. I'm like a grown up. And Someone's stuff. getting yeah. hugs. But I, I can casting my mind back. It is definitely all the things you were just saying about oh, this could be amazing. I'm going to be single. I'm going to be able da da da. And then it's bollocks. All right, because yeah. you know. You just realise, actually, I, like, I am complete, hmm. I'm just ugly, no one loves me. No, but how many, <laughs> honestly, like, it's not like every night you're in the club, like, hooking up with... It just doesn't work, like, that's not yeah, life. Well, that, that's, yeah. that, that is completely true, but for that brief little second before you break up, you think it's going to be that. You go through... <laughs> I've been through bouts of loneliness, sorry, singledom, in yeah. my time. <laughs> and um, it's, But for me, it's like, when I'm single, I'm single across, like, four different strands. So I'm single as a bloke. Yes. I'm single as an Asian bloke. <laughs> I'm single as a half Pakistani bloke and single as a Bangladeshi bloke. And so from the age of, like, 13 or 14, the Asian husband family are like, you're going to get married at some point, we're going to find you a partner, da 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 And then the guy who was born and raised in England... All my mates are like, we're going to get you out and you're going to be shagging everyone. Yeah, exactly. And gonna get I'm kind of there going, I, 
don't know how to do that. Like, that's no. <laughs> how, how do you do that? So, and yeah, what do you want to do? Because this is everyone else telling you what you mm. want to do. But, well, this is it. And the thing is now, I'm 34. The truth is, it's going to sound so lame. I would love, and the fact that I've prefaced it by saying it's going to sound so lame, which is that I would love to meet someone and settle down. That's not I've lame. Ju- that's I've lovely. just had a question. Forgive me if it's someone being offensive. I don't know if this thing is real. It said, does Ishan use Minda, the Muslim Tinder? Is that, is that a real that thing? That exists. It does. does. Yeah, oh, right. Thank Do God that exists. It? That, well, I, I, I downloaded it and I've got a joke about it in my stand-up. All oh, right. Uh, I, thought, is... I thought sort of someone making some offensive rhyming no, no, joke. No, no. There is a Muslim Tinder. I downloaded it and my joke is that um, you can only swipe east. Oh. Very good. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, uh, you know, there's a Jewish one called J Swipe. J Swipe. Is there? Yeah, yeah. There's there's I think for every religion. It does, yeah, because I think if you if you're that way inclined and religion's important, and you want to find someone in the same culture and ethnicity, la la. Okay. Then you've got to find the pool that you're in. Well, the thing is, on Mindy, they you should I... do one for like like working class people as well, like Chinder, like a chav Tinder. So I, could meet, <laughs> I could meet girls that are in things. Uh, I'm you're in... married. Yeah, yeah, I know. No, so you don't need to be swiping. No, anyway. I mean before my next oh, marriage. Right. Oh right, yeah, great. But on Mindy, you can actually set out like how Muslim you are. And I, I don't, I'm not practicing Muslim anymore, so I'm like no. the bad boy of the group. Yeah. 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 Have like a Women number. messaging me, like being like, maybe I'll shag you before I get married to a real Muslim. Yeah. Oh, you know. <laughs> right, so and you're, you're the, like, okay, you're sure. You're the acceptable <laughs> face of re- a rebellious, for yeah. a rebellious Muslim yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, this, this face. This one. If you were wondering. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, so hold on, can I just sort of follow that up? So what, what, how comes you're not practicing Muslim anyway? It's just a stand-up, just kills everything. Yeah, no, That's what happened with me. I was doing a master's in literature. Fucking not anymore. I, 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 st- <laughs> I stopped practicing about ten years ago. Uh, because really good at it now. Just yeah, because because doesn't mean, that doesn't mean you mastered it. Because you went into yeah. banking and life was fun yeah. there. Yeah, <laughs> became a banker, found bacon. I was like, yeah, this is all I need, you know, money and bacon. Alcohol. Bacon? Yeah. But that's what that's what threw you off the, the, the religion? I mean, there was a whole, like, religious I thought you could say, I realized study the that profundi- I, t- I looked undertook. inside and I realised spiritually, for me, there wasn't a single deity. No, just no. fucking likes bacon. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's bacon. Love it. Who <laughs> doesn't? So, so you, you, so you were good at being because I think a lot of men, I think they say, yeah, I've been shaking everything, and then at night, you know, sort of wanking into a sock. I'm so lonely. Biryani <laughs> carton at the foot, going, I may have lost my way here. Yeah. But then the next day, oh, you should have seen me last night. I had three birds sucking. They actually had to go in turn. But really, you were just crying as your broadband petered out, and you watched, the sh- listen to the shipping forecast, masturbating. <laughs> you know, no, no, it's three birds. Well, I've got a rhythm going. <laughs> I think you're spot on. I mean, obviously hamming it up a bit. Yeah. But I just think, I, I feel so sorry for men. Women, single and lonely, can actually be like, I feel a bit lonely. I feel a bit like I wish there was someone. And it's like, I know, babe, you're going to meet someone. Like, you're amazing. Anyone would be lucky to have you. But men have to pretend it's like, this is what I want. But also, I wonder, I wonder what it's like. For, like I, I feel like whenever I've been in a relationship with someone, every time my mates would be like, oh, mate, you're punching. It's always like, oh, yeah, yeah. So it's always like yeah. Literally, I'm the wedding that. I was at yesterday, it was like, to the groom, you're punching. Right, yeah. Like, the so, men are always... So it's always yeah. that. And the thing yeah. is, is you, you kind of... You're like, OK, this is just a vernacular. This is a lexicon of men. That's the way we speak. But then eventually you start believing it because you start thinking, well... Yeah, but don't you worry, it might be true. I mean, yeah. I, I don't want to be horrible, but <laughs> look, look at the look two at stand-ups you. around the table. We're clearly using <laughs> sense of humour to attract women. And what's wrong so, with that? The most important thing you yeah. do is people laugh. Oh. No, but I, 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 I don't put pictures of my wife on Instagram anymore because everyone's like, oh, is she Russian or something like that? Does she need a passport? <laughs> uh, it's, you know, you're punching. I thought you were gay. Uh, so there's never a you, yeah. you two look nice together. Yeah, they're like, well done, you two. Hasn't she yeah. done well? It looks that. like she's on some sort of scheme to help less advantaged men feel better yeah. about themselves. <laughs> I'm going to hang out with you, take you for coffee to build your self-esteem up, <laughs> but it's not real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like like hit. Ha- <laughs> what does this happen? Because you, you start thinking to yourself, oh, you know, my mates are joking. Obviously, I can get kind of the, a great woman or whatever. So you go to the club or wherever, pub, and you approach a girl that obviously you're not going to get. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're like, oh, I've been told I can... But then they're like, I don't want to be anywhere near you. You're like, yeah, I'm doing 10 minutes at the Camden Head on Wednesday. Are you... Are you <laughs> Boom. Uh, uh, you know, sorry, this, is, this is, seems like we're ganging up on you, but you're the single one, I suppose. It, it, it is... is, is um, Online dating the way forward these days. I, 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 can't, I you know. Okay. I so here's my thing with online now. dating. I went on Tinder and I was there for a year and a half and got zero matches. Well, I matched with a mattress company, <laughs> no. but that's because I swiped right on everyone and hoping that by probability I'd actually someone would at least mistakenly swipe right to me, yeah. and it didn't happen <laughs> once. But so you got no matches on Tinder. Zero at all? matches. That's and bad. So what about the Muslim version? No, I got, yeah, but they were just like, literally, Less. it was just Less. women saying, <laughs> yeah, it was basically like, oh, 
you, I'm never obviously I'm never going to marry you. So, so uh, on Minda, are they looking for husbands more than? Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Right. Anything? Uh. Any, yeah, it's basic. Well, so you can it's, swipe right, and then yeah, the father will turn up and go, "You've married my daughter." <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah. That dad turns up at the hotel. You're like, oh boy. <laughs> um, so, would you say your is your husband punching then? Olivia, say yes. Or would you? <laughs> no, I. Uh, Are you punching? So you went. You went for him. Just you were like, I don't care what you do. It's all about the looks, babe. We <laughs> knew each other from little, so it's oh. you're not little. He's twelve. No. Yeah, no. So oh. it's he, was just your t- he originally taught you English, didn't he? <laughs> right, <laughs> and he gave me the passport. So you know, I owe him a lot. No, <laughs> he's got a great we were, sense of humour. We were yep. friends. It's. The, I think it is a different scenario. If it, yeah. you know, as in I just didn't. I feel like unfortunately. It, at an older age, you're, there's so many elements you're looking for. When you're t- you know each other from young, it's like you're just mates, and then it evolves naturally. When it's like I need worse, s- I need security, it? I need this. Yeah, I need, yeah. It's like you, you require more things as you get older. Otherwise, you can just do it on your own. Let's let's no, let's invent. Sorry, Adrian. just just quickly, just you know, I ended up marrying my wife was came from our circle of friends, right, and to me that looking back makes absolute sense. And can I just for people that don't understand your amazing story. JJ Johnson, you do sound like either a superhero or someone that's directed the Star Trek movie. Yeah, yeah, right. um, great name. Not only Neither. are you a, a, a television, a good television presenter, and, a, and a, you've won the Victor Games medal, an Invictus Games medal, but your story is outstanding. You really went through it. You were in active service, and you yeah. basically stood in an. It, I always get this wrong. It's, an, I, it's not an IU. It's not an interuterine. Yeah, yeah, you I didn't, know. Yeah, you didn't I step know. on that. It would have been all right. Yeah. On, you didn't Could step on a vaginal coil, did you? No, no. <laughs> 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 you stepped on an IET, which is much worse. Yeah. <laughs> is it? No joke, Charlie. And, yeah, and it also, is. I'm just interested in relationships. Were you already happily married before this happened? Totally. And how did that affect, you know, the, the bond? Uh, do, yeah. you, do you think, oh, my God, what if I was single? How would it affect your confidence? Things like that, if you're happy to go there. No, no, okay, go for it, yeah. So I was in the Marines. It was 2011 that I got got blown up and I was I was with my girlfriend now wife at the time but I remember like the, the the lead up to that the years that lead up to it I could couldn't keep a relationship really and ultimately it's because I knew that life was I was going to go to Afghanistan I could be dead next year and mm. and that was that was a, both a sense of better live life and you know all that kind of nonsense but really it was about not wanting to put somebody through that no, but you know, I felt I'm... like it was my experience and I was like I can't you know, it's just a cruel thing to put somebody through. Mm-hmm, yeah. Having said that, in the end, of course, it was my girlfriend when I woke up in a hospital bed who just, you know, dragged me through all this nonsense. And, and you know, now my wife, now the mother of my child. Um, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here without her. Yeah. But, I, I, but it takes something like that, I suppose, to realise that as well. Because, like I say, I just felt like I was just going to hurt her. So you're glad, yeah. you're glad that you weren't seeing... Because there's, yeah. there's, there's evidence... I'm not, it's going to sound like I'm being flippant just because I, I, no. my brain makes things funny, but <laughs> there is evidence that any other animal on the planet, if it thinks it's about to die, fucks like rabbits at the, lo- yeah. at the last Does minute. It? Well, you, there's the, listen, you could look at it in a Dawkins way. We, we ain't here to hang out and do make do pottery club and and make, make podcasts. podcasts. <laughs> Ultimately, we've evolved to fall in love and meet other people and share, share our genes. Right? It's a very bleak biological way of looking at it. Yeah. So one would think. Let's use a metaphor of the lad's holiday. The closer you get to the end of that lad's holiday, the more the urge to pull is ramped up because yeah. it's a sort of death. The yeah? <laughs> window closes, right? Yeah, yeah. And you're yeah. back to normal life. Yeah. So one would think if you ramp that up times 100, i.e. the soldier about to go on tour, it would make you want to be more single. To the, I, need, I just need to go out there. I need to be alone. I need to be a, the wild man floating yeah. on my own. Or, well, the other... No, for when you go. Or, is it, or alternatively, or you want to know that someone is at home waiting for you to give you a reason to live. Yeah. Not, I mean... Well, the bottom well, line is, that first and foremost, you think you're going to go the there thing, and come back. Classic male-female yeah, brain. Totally, I was like, totally. I might die, I'm going to fuck everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Wait for me, pray wait for, for me. me. Yeah. Yeah. I, will, I will heal Dear you John. with my fidelity single love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you, first of all, you think you're going to survive. You, you know, yeah, uh, of course. You, you, it was a one in eight chance of this happening to me, but I still thought it would be seven in eight chance that it would be absolutely fine. Yeah, you know, I was in a dangerous job in a dangerous part of the world. You say that so glibly, but one in <laughs> one eight, eight, I wouldn't... I, I, I would I'm never like, say like, those odds on anything. Like I know, it's ridiculous. I thought they were good odds at the time, and it wasn't until Ed Byrne uh, pointed out, he was like, it's one in six in a game of Russian roulette. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. sort that. I wouldn't do that. I'm not mental. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'm just, going, I'm just going for a wee hike. Yeah. <laughs> but... But in terms of, yeah, but you're right, the companionship of knowing somebody was, you know, there and in, in all those sort of, if the worst case would happen, 
in and all those sort of quiet moments. But actually, the thing that gets you through it more than anything is the lead. You know, you're in it together. You're, you're looking together, after yeah, one yeah, another yeah. and all that sort of stuff. But it, like I say, all that all that sort of bravado melts away when you really when you really need it. So all yeah. things being equal, if you could say to a, a younger man, seven, eight years younger than yourself, he's about to go into the Marines, go to active service, you're better off having a stable relationship behind you rather than the kind of be single so you don't hurt someone at home. It's a tricky thing because it's the the marines in its essence is a young man's game because mm -hmm. you know it's a lot of time away from home it's you know it's the divorce rates are quite high and all that kind of no, stuff no not stand up comedy the marines y yeah <laughs> well, exactly. i'm sure, I'm sure <laughs> it is i'm sure it is it's a lot you know I've, I've, we were joking about it beforehand no, but, you know the cult you know the culture that you guys awful. live in it's re relentless it's hard work yeah. time away from home yeah no one's trying to kill you but they say mean things no, sometimes no, but we, yeah, we often know. die kind of yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um but but there comes a point. I remember being there with like some of the more senior blokes, um, and and they had families and all sorts of stuff. And I, I remember thinking, bloody hell, that must be really hard. Because yes, my my girlfriend would have been devastated, but I wasn't leaving kids at home no. or anything yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And I, you know, I didn't feel like anyone really depended on me. If the worst was going to happen, um, like I say, I wasn't. Yes, my girlfriend, no wife, would have been unbelievably distraught, but I wasn't going to ruin a kid's life by them no. not growing up with her father yeah, or something yeah. like that. Yeah, we, yeah. We've got a question here. To, that's fantastic. Thank you for sharing that, JJ. We've got, for, this is from Roxy Racing, who's followed... We, by, by the way, if you're listening to the podcast, we are following this live on Instagram at the same time to, to a massive audience at the moment. I mean, the number's astounding. <laughs> now, we've had a question from Roxy Racing, and she says, I'm assuming it's a girl, when you've been single, you realise that you don't need a relationship. Discuss because I always think it's the other way around. Once you're in a relationship, you think I don't need to be single to feel happy. But I suppose it depends on how you're wired, really. I think I, I, that is the problem with this whole singledom topic. It's how you're wired. Yeah, it's how you're some wired. people need someone, you know, which is a shame that they can't be happy just on their own. But maybe some people, you know, can. Mm -hmm. And you should be able to be happy on your own because you can't rely on other people for your own happiness. Because then it's too much expectation on everyone else all the time if you can't figure out how to make yourself happy. But if you can thrive and be happy on your own, then being in a relationship will just add to it. It will just kind of yeah. improve what is already great. Yeah, but, do you agree? But kind of, because I think I feel like, because you know, I'm in my 30s now, and growing up, everything that's been sold to me has been like, you need to be in a relationship, you need to be with someone else. And, you know, you get Valentine's Day and stuff like that, and then there's an anti-Valentine's you know, anti Valentine's Day movement. But everything is about, as a, as a man, the stuff I've consumed is, I've got to be the charming man who chases after the woman after, with her consent, of course, yeah. at the train station. So long these days. Right? Um. Just put about a hundred things in brackets, just, <laughs> yeah. just in case of, a case of vegan gets annoyed. <laughs> yeah. So, so I think that I did, and like my own personal experience, my, my last three relationships, they, every single one of them cheated on me. What? what? Every right? single one. Every single one of them cheated on me. Now and you do realise that uh, pr proportionally less women cheat on men than men cheat on women. It's, it's a lot higher than we think. Yeah. But still, that's quite bad luck, mate. Yeah. So, I, it's oh right. my god, that's. Shocking. And so, so what that's done for me is, and now I, I'm in my thirties. I would like to meet someone, but I also know that I'm going to meet people who will meet me with all my baggage. Can I ask? Were these like Muslim girls from India? Just no, 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 no. There, there was um, one Sikh girl. There was one uh, white lady. Wait a second, you dated a Sikh girl? Yeah. I've got some Sikh friends. Were they, were Mate. They, were their family welcoming? Oh, my God. So when... when you know, I, Sikh, like, just bring a Muslim boy home. <laughs> I'm kidding. When, yeah. I, when, when, <laughs> I found out, when I found out the second time she cheated on me, because I already knew her from before uh, and her family, so I called her mum and I found out she was with her ex-boyfriend somewhere anyway. So I told her mum that we'd been dating for eight months and her mum turned around and said, I told her not to date a Muslim. I knew it would be complicated. And I was like... Your daughter cheated on, on me. me. Like what? Anyway, so but the point being that Aww. now I'm at the point where it, meeting someone now because I feel like there's so much pressure for us to be with someone. Sean, can I just ask why? Why do you think they, they cheated, cheated on, on you? <laughs> I don't want to be horrible, but, no, if, but if, you, if you had to throw a dart in the board, but why do you think it's his? Well, no, this might, have, might have an instinct. To, uh, I, I had a relationship where the girl cheated on me, and uh, uh, looking back. I was a bit wrapped up in my career, blah, blah, blah. So if, if you've got an instinct about why... No, I really don't, because all of them, were, you know, for, for different reasons. I mean, one, one of them, you know, I, I, in one week I'd met her mum, we'd booked tickets to go to Copenhagen to meet her best friend. She went to the Labour Party conference, came back and was like, we can't do this, I fell in love with you too quickly. That was her reason. 
And then a year That's later. That's like a man reason. I've got so many intense feelings. <laughs> I, just, I, I, needed, them. Them. Yeah. I yeah. needed to express yeah. them into another woman to get the tension <laughs> right. off. I, all this tension built up in my balls from my heart. <laughs> and that's and why I fucked your friend. And then a year That's later, the reason she cheated on me that weekend. That's such a man reason. Oh my God. You found out a year later? Yeah. At the Labour Party conference. At the Labour Party conference. Of all the conferences, things could only get wetter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, off the top of my head, it wasn't bad. That it was wasn't foul. bad. Yeah. It was disgusting. I'll give you that. Uh, someone, Emily, 16, who's 16 years old, someone uh, following the show live on Instagram mm. today, oh, has said, I've never been in a relationship. Is it normal to be scared about having a, re a relationship? I've got yeah. some really, yeah. really bad news for Emily. <laughs> You're the least scared you'll ever be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think someone who is 40 and has been single for five years will be twice as terrified as yeah. a 16-year-old. But it is that you it's the pressure thing, isn't it? Yeah. Also, you make a, if you're going to enter a relationship, it needs to be perfect in yes. every single box. And that isn't life. And that yeah. and that isn't relationships. They are never like even like my husband and I are perfect for each other, but we can like fall out all the time about nonsense. And there are things you're different. You just yeah, and like we do stuff. things just differently. Just don't go to the Labour Party conference. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For Christ's sake, it's a real turn on for really. You. <laughs> really. Just just five I minutes. Mean, I couldn't think of anything worse. Five yeah. minutes of hearing <laughs> Corbyn terrible. speak, you grab the nearest dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I. Thought... <laughs> <laughs> Boys Don't Cry is proud to be sponsored by ASOS Design. It's my absolute go-to brand for the white t-shirt, black jean look. To be honest with you, if it wasn't for ASOS, I would pretty much be naked. Even my pants or socks are from ASOS. But ASOS Design is something for everyone. You two can express yourself however you want with clothing that will give you the confidence to push the boat out a bit, but not too far, and try something new. You don't have to look like me. And if you do and need counselling, please contact me. Created by ASOS and styled by you, ASOS Design. Check out the latest pieces on asos.com forward slash men. I'm interested in talking about if there's a difference in age groups of men. Do our, We had a, a question um, from someone who's profile name is lsd 5 rad <laughs> it's, it's basically the number plate of my old Vauxhall Corsa. <laughs> uh, do men, when they're younger, hunt in packs... And when they're older, sleazy single warriors. Oh, is there a difference? Because I've just, I've never ever thought about that. But now when I think about it, it's absolutely freaking true. And it might just simply be the case that so many, when you get older, so many of your friends are married, you have no choice. Yeah. Because my mm. observation of uh, girls is they continue to hunt in packs. Yeah. yeah so yeah, even the married yeah. ones will sort of form a protective circle. Carol, guard her beak, guard her eggs. There's a yeah. single doctor over there, run. Yeah. Um, uh, whereas. <laughs> No, no, but, but where, no, Who's girls. Carol as well, by the way. You already use Carol as your Girls reference. tend to stay in packs. So my wife's married, but she'll go out with, the, to me, she'll go out with her single <laughs> friends and they'll still be like all clucking around and, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and pulling on her behalf and then at the last minute peeling away and pushing forward. Yeah. Whereas once you're married, you're like, Gary's, I ain't single anymore, Gary. I can't get involved, you know what I mean? I'm yeah. getting shit. <laughs> so sort of Gary's left on his own. But you know what that is, though, don't you? Because women, they build their friendships based on, you know, there's this, like, emotional connection. And I don't think men make the same kind of emotional connection when they're developing their friendships. It's basically like, I'm 18, let's go out, I want to pull, you're going to help me, you be yeah. my wingman. And then by by that time, speaking to Gary, Gary's married, had two kids, the kind of way you used to hang out with him isn't do anymore. He doesn't know how to hang out with you in any other way. Yeah. I think that's what it is. But also I think when men are older, it's like you've got more tools in your armory. You can buy the drink. You can be like, I'm the you've got your chat. You I kind mean, yeah. of I'm a comedian, I, I can't. Okay, no. but you've got your jokes. You've got <laughs> yeah, your you've like got the chat, but you can't buy the drink. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, maybe you've got a bit more than yeah. She's fit. I'm just gonna, you yeah, know, yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you don't really offer like WKDs when you're 16, do you? You just kind of like, do you want yeah. to pull? Whereas <laughs> women still, it's all the same emotional thing. You still yeah. want to be like charmed and like, oh, is, he, is he looking at me? All of that stuff. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Just think maybe what you're more mature. I, 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 got, JJ, it's funny, I had JJ Charmer. No, we. Hey, hello. Yeah, like Judith. Um, I hadn't thought about. <laughs> hadn't, I, you know, you're right. I hadn't quite realised that either. Do you know what was nice? I was at my uh, my daughter's first like nativity party, Christmas party the other day. Two years old, and the boys and girls were just mixing happily. And then I was like, it's going to be a few years, and then it will just be that. 
that yeah. classic the divide. Yeah. On the the boys on one side, the girls yeah. on the other side. Yeah. I used to be a school teacher and I've been uh, chaperoned school discos and I was like, hey, it'll never change. It'll never change. Yeah. But it is that pack mentality, that sort of like, we've got you back. We'll kind of push you over. All right, go and speak to her. But you're terrified of them because they're on mass as well. But when you're young and you go to clubs and you're 18, it is like the boys go out, the girls go out, and you're all kind of just yeah. looking at each other. But when you're like 34, you're lucky if you can get a few, one or two friends together. And to they're all tired. Yeah. Yeah. They're all tired by 11 p.m. I'm not you're that like, sad. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. But it's yeah. just like people are lame Everyone, when you're older. Yeah. You just don't tired. do it. They're like, oh, we had a pizza earlier. Like, yeah. You know when you're drinking after food? <laughs> yeah. So I think I might yeah. get my taxi from yeah, midnight. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah. Uh, we've had a comment here. I'm 50, and we hardly ever go out and meet up with our mates because society doesn't appreciate people at that age. And horribly, the guy's name is Tugwell. Tugwell Gibson. <laughs> and uh, you but don't really you want know, to be moaning about being single <laughs> when your name's Tugwell. <laughs> I think it's at a point, though, because yeah. if, we, if you see a group of 50-year-old women in a bar, it doesn't seem as out of place as a group of 50-year-old men in a bar. It's, I think a group of 50-year-old men in a bar has become, particularly in the last 12 months, vaguely threatening. Yeah, yeah right. But, yeah. But I'm a man and I look across and go, I bet they're all me too, gropers. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, I, yeah. I'm a man and I've started <laughs> it's thinking it. That, yeah. No, but also if you go to a nightclub at 34... You're like, I'm so old, because they're all yeah. 18, 17, 16, let's be honest. You Music's know. really loud, yeah. And you're like, it's so loud, you can't even talk. But drinks are this much money. And yeah. it's, it's so, you do feel old. So imagine being, like, 40 and single, wanting to do a nightclub. You're a predator, for sure. Literally mm. perving on young mm. girls, mm. if you're a man. And if you're a woman... Well, the 18-year-old boys won't be interested either. It's well, yeah. and they, yeah. uh, uh, that is so not true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've, you've, Can you imagine being 18 and going, I'm 34, are you OK? Uber, please, now. Yeah, Uber, Uber. Can you pay for the taxi? Please, wake <laughs> me off in the car. Um, we've had, had Steve... No, no, no. <laughs> somewhat Steve has said this, and I, it's a funny comment, but I actually want to drill down into the truth of it, even though we're all beta males and pretending we're emotionally sensitive. Well, mm. Steve has said... Boys who are single want to go out and get laid and try as many types of women as they can, whatever, this is whatever age the man is. Any bloke who doesn't admit that is a fucking liar. Discuss. <laughs> I uh, don't... Let's just have a little moratorium on judgment. Okay. And let's, <laughs> I know we're all lovely and two of you have got beards and I've got a nice sweater on, but let's be, let's be, let's be real here, lads. Do you not wear my sweater? No. <laughs> What's let's all be, my... Let's be okay. real. Men I don't... like disconnected casual sex they do and if that's true and it probably is is it not is, is it completely the opposite for women is my question though no, i'm sure I'm t girls go through girls probably like that i can't comment this is this is a place where i this is precisely yeah. why olivia is here i wouldn't dare to comment individual i don't know is it yeah. men and women or is it no, some men i think the majority i think what steve Definitely is saying pack mentality so then yes sure. i'd say major i think the majority of women do not just want to go shagging around they want to connect with someone and mm make yeah. love more than, you know. I don't have enough self-confidence to be able to think I want to sleep with diff all different types Especially of women. He's still saying sleep with. <laughs> <laughs> Is your Horlicks ready? <laughs> I love a Horlicks, mate. It's respectful. I appreciate your respect. Yeah. Thank you. But I don't, I don't have enough confidence to be able to say, oh, I haven't had, I don't know, an X type of woman say, oh, I want to go for that. Jagger. Yeah, so that's me, but I know a lot of my mates are kind of like, what? I haven't had a Chinese bird. I've never had a mm -hmm. black bird. Literally want to try it yeah. all. I want to try everything. Wait one. a minute. Some of your mates are collecting them like a chocolate box variety. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, a little bit yeah. yeah. It's like, I slept with a, a Lichtensteinian bird at the weekend. Oh, mate, there's only 7,000 people live in Lichtenstein. I'm not going to beat that. It's only Vatican State. Yeah. If I, I've, just, yeah. I've got to meet a bird from the Vatican State. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, got, it's so that. specialist. Yeah. It's like, oh, mate, you're so lucky you've had a Bengali bird. I'm like, all right. <laughs> There's 180 million of them. Yeah, you know I mean, that's, <laughs> that's like, you, Common, see a, that's like, you, much, that's like yeah. you see a pigeon out of your window. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, like oh, bird spot, I've spotted a pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> uh, Joe, come, Joe, you're, you're being, you're being no, suspiciously I, 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 quiet I, I, on I, this topic. No, I can, I can agree with the confidence thing of it, but I definitely know blokes that are, you know, collecting the chocolate box, as you say. Yeah. Um, but at the same time... Could you, could, you, do, could you imagine women going, have you ever had a Japanese bloke? Do you know what? <laughs> I know three women, point. mate. Let's go to Tokyo. <laughs> Let's go to Tokyo. Really? Is, it, I, is it like that or is it literally like... Is it thought of like that? I think, I think, I think it comes with the confidence as well because I know blokes who would be, you know, grateful to get, you know, anything. I have yeah. to be no. honest, <laughs> girls are... I have many friends who are like, oh, I've never been with a black guy. Yeah. They, yeah. You know, that's, I feel like that's like most people... Like, 
like Anthony Joshua's like the dream for like oh, every woman. Oh, he's a dream for me too. You know what I mean? Yeah. They I say that. So you know, you know, on the, you know, on Facebook and stuff, they've got those maps where you can just select the countries you've been in and it shades it for you. One yeah. of my mates was like, I'm going to select every single country I've shagged the girl from. <laughs> 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 That's so blunt. No, it's so hilarious. honest. I think you would be shocked <laughs> with a sick bucket next to you, Olivia. <laughs> I know, I know. If I could bring up the true percentage of men that would like their own personal chart hidden of in course. a passworded Word document on their yeah, 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 yeah. And probably some do. In yeah. some way. I mean, in the pub, it I'm was not hilarious. I don't know why it's a passworded Word document. I don't have one. It was very funny. You pull the map out. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, this is And amazing. how was he getting on? Really good. South America he'd covered. North America. But... But isn't that someone screaming to be like in a loving relationship? Well, no. I think if you if you <laughs> boiled down to them, spoke to the shrink, perhaps. But. Perhaps, yeah. But, uh, but just quickly, Sorry, JJ, there's, a, there's that sense of, you know, he probably does. But there's individuals, I think, within a pack who, regardless of what they actually think, they feel the pressure by the people around them yes. to be pushed yeah, forward. Yeah, and go, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I definitely want to do that, and then they end up doing that. That is anyway. so true. Uh, isn't that There's part of surely it? guys within each friendship group who are happy not to be shagging everything that walks in, just want to find something they like. I'm the guy! <laughs> but then I was like, go on, go on, you've got, you know, and you're like, yeah, oh, but is that, right. uh, is that because you've not been played the confidence card you might be played? Or is or you think you are just genetically, organically like that? But if tomorrow that you got hit with the Drake button... Right. ..and go, I was like, yeah, please, baby. You'd be like, I'm sorry, I'm just that guy that doesn't like sleeping with girls. You would be in a punani tsunami by midnight. Admit Pro it. Probably. When you're on stage, do people ever... I mean, do you find you the interest it. more in that sense? Uh, no, I've, 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 I've only dated two people who've seen me on stage... But that's a weird dynamic as well. I don't because mean dating. You go straight to dating. I'm literally talking about one night stands. Oh, I've not never had one. Have you have you had advances when you've been on stage? Like you no. certainly do. No. Well, sorry. I am <laughs> I you... currently married to a girl from my front row and have really? a oh, really? which is about as far as you can take it. Yeah, Mate, that, like, good, good Front row, wow. date, marry, fertilize. But how do you find that <laughs> dynamic though? Because surely, like, because she see. I mean, you're married now, but my, I yeah. imagine that because someone's seen you on stage, they expect that persona and that personality all I suppose the time. Initi I suppose at the first date, you just, you, it's like any first date. You go in with preconception. You, if, if it's a Tinder picture and you've been having t banter on WhatsApp, the yeah. person's not going to be the same as yeah, their WhatsApp yeah. banter in their Tinder okay, picture. Okay, they're going to yeah, look fine. different. They're going to sound different. It's just a slightly longer reconciliation, I suppose. Right, OK, fine. Depends what type of stand-up you are as well. Yeah. I am, as you guys will know, there's not much gap between how I bang on before we start this and how I sit down. I'm pretty, yeah, there's yeah. Not, you know, I'm pretty consistent. I'm like, uh, whereas some stand-ups are like, oh, I'll follow by... Uh. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that'd probably be more shocking for a girl. Uh, but it was Lindsay's dad who was the fan of my work, tragically, and she'd bought him tickets as a surprise, so it wasn't as weird. Okay. She, she was like, who's this? Did you meet the dad straight away? Oh, right, so yeah. she wasn't like, I'm obsessed with no, you. No, yeah. like her dad... Oh. That thought I was funny. I was doing this TV show, and the mum sort of knew me. And Lindsay was like, "Never heard of him." He's gay, he, and thought I was gay, so right. she didn't, didn't even think it was a possibility. But was, and was stalking me online right. on the way there. I was like, "Oh my god, he's not gay." Imagine if, he, and she actually had the thought. Imagine if he saw me tonight and fell in love with me. Could you imagine that? And said that. And no way. Happened. Could you imagine? Oh, 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 god, that is an oh, advert for putting things out of the universe. What I'm saying is, girls, just bone a man on stage yet, and a dream might happen for you. And my it. next gig <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to help you guys out here. Yeah. He's married. Oh, yeah, no. yeah, we're married at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm punching. I'm sorry, I'm so, you know. Um, I just want... So, uh, Steve has got a friend called Tony, and Tony has said, surely most men enjoy the thrill of the chase. It sounds sexist, what I'm saying, but I have to say some things that sound sexist to open up this debate. There is a perception... That men, and I see it all the time on these banal TOWIE programs, which is like the wildlife programs for humans, that men enjoy the thrill of the chase, and some men seem to be turned off when there isn't a chase. Something I've never been able to get my Sorry, head around. Sorry, men and women. Yeah, it well, works both ways. ways. Well, I don't. Well, I don't women want to be yeah. pursued. I mean, I'm married, yeah. but no, no, but, but, but no, I'm talking about the thrill of chasing. Yeah. Chasing, right? But so I think it's the same thing. Cars. So women want to yeah. chase men. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Women want to chase men. Women want to be chased. Men want to do the chasing, yeah. and then sometimes when you get the end result, it's like meh. All right then. I've, I've been with women who were all all about the chase, and as soon as we got together, they were just like, no, not. That's probably how you know you, right. it's your wife or husband. Because you get with them and you're still thrilled about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah. Like, like that. Yeah, that's probably That's how true. you know. But what do you think of this, This, which I do not share at all, um, this thing uh, that a, ma a majority of men, certainly from my background, ultra-working class, um, 
that if they go to chase a girl and it's too easy the pulling, then they're not then interested in it. Yeah. Oh, I've yeah. never fucking understood. Mm-hmm. This stands in the way of an ocean of shagging that could be happening. It's like, oh, for Christ's sake, stop communicating <laughs> that the women <laughs> that won't enjoy sex or something bad. I mean, it yeah, should just yeah. be a moratorium. <laughs> um, my life would be like a Roman painting of fucking for, from when I was single <laughs> because but and instead when I was single and out there it was this horrible thing where women were like oh my good you can think something less of me if I sleep like, this is something brilliant it's yeah. sex why if you want it what is going on in your head you, you're just seeing that and you'll judge me off I will not judge you but it turns out most men do I what is going do, on do, there yeah. well I don't know for your wife you don't want her Lindsay to have been that quite... easy that quick because she's your wife, you know, and no, so no. women don't want to be perceived as... But why? But you Lindsay... never know where it's going to go as well. I yeah, like, the like, hindsight's different. The first date we went on, we, Lindsay, had, we, we had this... I'm definitely oversharing now, Lindsay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had this conversation. She was like, this, this just new, it's new wheat to me. Like, that sent me on the first... The only reason you should be saying that is if you do not want something to happen on the first night. If you're a woman and you're wildly horny and want something to happen and you're not doing it because of some sexist bollocks that's out there, we well, have a long way to go in evolution. Yeah, you yeah. are a different type of man, I find it I'd ter- imagine, to the guys who are like, uh, exactly. on the pole. I know that, I know that. I find it... I actually definitely have a show that I find it a bit of a turn-on if a woman knows what she wants and she has a sexual appetite. Like, yeah, I think yeah. that bodes well for marriage. If a girl is like, yeah, I should be sexually conservative, but I just can't resist boning you, I'm like, when can we get married and do this for 20 years? <laughs> 20, you're all 20, babe, is that it? Yeah. 50. That that you're not going to need more than 20 years of incessant shagging. Uh, all right. Yeah, that's... We well, never know. Chafing, you know, never know. Yeah, some happen. pensioners are randy fuckers. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind, I, you know... But do you know what I mean? Do you ever worry that your children will watch this back? I hope, yeah, I'm sorry. Apologies. If you're watching <laughs> yeah. this in 20 years, men are apologies. <laughs> but uh, do, you, do you know what I'm saying? I, know, so, uh, I do know what you're saying, but I think you're, you're a kind of very emotionally sensitive, attuned guy, and therefore maybe you create a safe space for women to be open and honest about those things, whereas blokes were like, oh, I just want to shag. It's like, no, I want you to want me for more than just you're going to, like, discard me after the shag. Uh, so, uh, here's a question. So... Uh, with your female, with your female friends, yeah. if one of them was like, "Oh my god, I shagged someone on the first day," mm, what would we think? Yeah, what, what do you say to mm. her? Yeah, single What's female friend shagged someone on the first I day. Prob- uh, Is there judgment there? Olivia Wayne, hide for your honesty over and over again. Probably not. What? Not. No, not judge like. Uh, it's but not your fault. Like, you're judging. You you live in this society where you've been bashed around and you're forced made to, to believe. That, that you made yeah. to, you know, that is it. You're made. A lady doesn't put out on the first yeah. night. That Which is, is a tragedy, you know? isn't it, single guys? <laughs> I think that, and also, like, if you really want me, you'll put in more effort and you'll chase harder, and then you might get the kids. Yeah, but okay, then what then happens after, let's say, you know, he chases you, shags you, and then leaves? Then what happens? Heartbreak, isn't it? Because that's all you wanted. And it's like, yes, that is all they wanted. Yeah. But but the woman feels like you should want more, I guess. It's not just enough that that's all there is. But if only people were more more honest, so again, apologies, Lindsay, (laughs) oversharing. I said to Lindsay, this is where I am, because this is where I thought I was. I cannot offer you more than a few dates and fun. I'm being single. I'm enjoying my life. I've never been single before. I've never had a one-night stand. never done anything like that. I'm partying. I'm 100% seeing other women. If you are up for joining the party <laughs> temporarily, great. If not, let's have a beer. Totally get it. Yeah. But let's not play each other. No one's chasing anyone here. This but is what I'm into. That might have been so refreshing for Lindsay, having yeah. come off the back yeah, of honestly, loads yeah. of yeah. assholes yeah. Probably, yeah. mucking her about. You, you being straight up and honest with that. But, what, J- J- but that's like that. That's the honesty you see in in like a, a you know in a movie that classic moment where somebody lays it all on a table and it all pans out really well. But yeah. I'm sure blokes I'm just are just terrified of yeah, yeah exactly. Being blokes like... are just terrified of putting <laughs> out there and that you know person just turning around and being like well, you're a weirdo yeah. or like ne- you know screaming and running out the yeah, room. Yeah, like how arrogant are you? You think <laughs> yeah. you're like you know. But the worst is when it's like, I imagine if you go on a date, you feel like things are going really well, there's a connection I'll speak to, looking forward to the next one, and then you never hear from them again. Yeah. That's way worse. Ghosting. <laughs> yeah, ghosting. But part of that, that thrill of the That's chase it. thing is, is, is the idea of the affirmation at the end of it that, that, you, that you know, you've got game. And that you yeah. can actually pull it off and be like, yeah, I am good looking and confident and all those things. And actually, that's all part of the, the process that makes you feel good about it. Mm. And then obviously the end state is, you know, that's good as well. Right. Well, we're going to have to wrap it up there. So I hope we've got to the bottom and of uh, some of the difficult issues surrounding male and female. Oh. I don't think we've resolved anything. No. And I think what we got to at the end there was we proved the stereotypes are alive and well, sadly. <laughs> 
Uh, but <laughs> that was but, useful. But if you take a chance and go against the grain, well, that's what yeah. Lindsay did. Lindsay, you might actually Lindsay come out all better off. It, She'd gone it? for six foot tall, strong, silent types who always turn out to be cheating with misogynistic <laughs> bastards. So instead, she went for an overly emotionally literate, insecure sex maniac. <laughs> and we've got one daughter, which is a miracle, really. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, just the, the table. one. You're yeah. lucky. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much to my guests, JJ Chalmers, Ashan Ekbar, and Olivia Wayne. This has been Boys Don't Cry. Don't forget to hit subscribe. If you're new to the podcast, there's loads of old episodes. We talk about everything, body hair, high insecurity, porn, wanking, depression, suicide, you name it, we've gone there. Uh, leave a positive review. Don't leave a negative one because this is about feeling good, so we don't need your negative shit in our lives right now. If you are single, lads, enjoy the forearm strength. <laughs> Until next time, bye-bye. Thank you for watching Boys Don't Cry with Russell Kane, brought to you by Joe, together with ASOS. <laughs>